All right, all right, all right. Now, you probably got a lot of questions like, why is there a ghost with Parkinson's on the back of your head? I don't know. Could it perhaps be this brand new exotic that I found on this day? And that is the Felwinter's Helm. Yes. The exotic perk is Warlord's End. Arc, Solar, and Void Melee kills create a burst of energy that weakens nearby enemies, finishers, and kills against more powerful enemies, increases the radius of the burst and the length of the weakening effect. It, you know, is this useful? Maybe. In all honesty, I've spent the majority of today, which is the first day that the season has come out, and just like trying to play around this exotic to the best I could. Obviously, just based off the description, this gun or this exotic seems to be. I mean, uh, trust me, I don't know anything about PVE, so I'm not gonna barge into your territory. But it seems like it's it would be really good in PVE. So it, it's at least going to be better in PVE than it is in PvP. From the research I did in private matches, it seemed to have a radius of around 15 meters. The effect lasted around 10 seconds long and what it does is the enemy that that you know it procs on it'll essentially smoke their screen as if you threw a smoke grenade at them on top of that it debuffs them so they take more damage and the cool thing about my spare rations roll is it has swashbuckler and because this activates on melee kills and keep in mind it is charged melee kills it's not every single melee kill that you get and it's not just melee hits it has to be a kill so since i have swashbuckler when i get a melee kill while my spare rations is out it shoots up to the maximum stack and if you combine that with the debuff I can actually do around 120 damage and two tap anybody that gets debuffed by this as long as I get this, the full stack going. So I'm going to continue to show you guys a few different things. And then after that, we'll move into the normal sort of video that I usually do where I just mess around with it in PVP. And you can observe up front and personal just how hard it is to get this thing to proc in PVP. It procs, but the capitalizing off of it is very, very difficult. Using the debuff, you can do a few different things. You can one tap with an Ariana's vow you can what you can headshot body shot with a swashbuckler spare rations that is maximum stack you can body shot with a 72 rpm sniper and you can actually run top tree void walker so that when you kill someone with your melee kill if someone is near them an explosion will go off and because the person near them if they get hit by the debuff are going to take more damage you can do a good like 60 to 100 damage or more just from the bloom which if you didn't know is the explosion that you get when you play a top tree void walker and get a kill with any void ability so with that being said I'm going to hop into some PvP and see how well I can do with it or see if I could at least get it to pro. Oh, we're fighting against the coronavirus. Oh, oh no. We got we got to keep our distance here. Did get one. Oh my god, two of them? So as I mentioned earlier, it is incredibly hard to get like to capitalize off of this. It procs just because it procs whenever you uh whenever you get a charged melee kill, but actually getting it to trigger on someone and then killing them is very difficult. The exotic would be significantly better if it I mean borderline overpowered if the rate like the, the shockwave, right? That the radius of, of debuff comes out from. If that came out from the person you killed, it would be nasty, especially when you pair it with uh top tree dawn this is this, i mean as you all know like right there it, it procs right but no one's near me and a lot of times you get kills with that melee at medium range or right there it triggers right but these guys aren't close enough Another problem with running top tree dawn is that when you're shotgunning, a lot of time, at least good shotgunners, they follow up most of their shotgun shots with a melee so that if they don't one shot them, they'll immediately follow up with a melee. But when you do that and you kill them on top tree dawn, it's going to fire the melee anyways and it wastes your melee charge. See, like, even right there, I feel like if it was based off of the radius of the person you kill, it'd be so much better. I mean, it'd be borderline broken, I feel like, at that point. Kill confirmed. Ah! Oh my god! Where's he going? No! Damn, dude, Co COVID-19 do be kind of aggressive, though. Nope. Oh, what? Oh, I forgot. My aim is terrible. Oh my God. I completely forgot you can't one hit kill supers. All right, I'm going to try some 6v6 with a shotgun.
Oh my god! Oh, I actually got it to work. Oh my god! What? I mean, I only technically got one kill off of it, but hey, that was quite the spree. In fact, this will be a dual video. Check it out. Oh, wow, guys. You guys were right. The hip fire is amazing. You fucking go, Cal. Get out of my fucking life, Cal. Oh, uh, yeah, I shouldn't have ADS. The main situation that would seem to be like a good spot for this gun to be in would just be trials. Because if you think about it, if you're one, if you're 1v3, especially if you're shotgunning, people are going to try to rush you down close quarters, three versus one. And if you go for a hip fire shotty shot, so you don't one shot kill them and then just melee them, the damage effect is really good. But honestly, I think the, be the most underrated part of it is just the blinding or like the smoke screen or whatever. They're smoked and they take a ton of damage. They're essentially tethered at that point. Later, bud. I don't think I got these guys. <laughs> he pinned him against the wall and then said, get down. I think they're all in here. Oh, no, don't stop me, man. Thank you. All right, let's see the hip fire. Let's see the hip fire. Close range, right? Oh, my God. Oh! Oh! No! Dude, this thing is clutch. Is this the loadout though? Is this the loadout though? It's just so weird for me because on PC, it was never worth hip firing before. You should always ADS it. And now like ADSing is absolute garbage and you should never ADS. I didn't assume ADS would be that much worse. And I did try hip firing in that video. There aren't many clips of it. And I got destroyed anyways by people rushing with shotguns. So I just, after like the fourth time it didn't work, I'm like, okay, well, hip fire doesn't seem much better. And then I just didn't do it anymore. Cause I was playing rumble and people were sliding around with shotguns and they're moving so fast that I just couldn't kill them in time regardless. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, for sure. I, I feel that. And also, when I meleeed him, why didn't my melee ability go off? I still have it charged. Where is he? Where did he go? Bro, I'm so... He's down here, isn't he? Hey. There he is. No! I wanted to hip fire him. Dude, I love this map so much. For pubs, it's so fantastic. Holding down one of the rooms. Just lighting kids up. All right. I'm, I'm feeling the hip fire a little bit. There we go. Okay, I'm noticing it's way easier to proc with shotgun. Just running shotgun and then... Uh, I don't really like the top tree dawn when I'm doing it though. Even though it's probably a better subclass. Just wasting your melee. Because it has like... You can activate it from any range. You waste your melee a lot. And because it's a, it's meant for further range. It's very, it has a slower activation it feels like. So I just like this better. Even though it's not as good of a subclass. Dude, it's, this is actually insane. It's like I'm in Destiny 1. And the, the most underrated part, mainly for when you're shotgunning with it, is just the smoke screen. Like the damage buff definitely helps. But the smoke screen is a huge part of why it's good. Oh, shit. <laughs> What type of damage is that? What type of damage is that? Dude, this is honestly f so fun. This loadout is so much fun. Dude, I'm loving it. <laughs> no teabagging. Teabagging is mean. I like how I started peak shotting him with the shotgun. Oh wait, did that? Does that work to take him out of super as well? Fox, pop your super. And then just come like right here. Okay, so boom, boom. Okay, so it doesn't take you out of your super. Oh my God, <laughs> dude. How are they letting me kill this many people? 
Let me melee you, please. Let me melee you, please. Oh my God. <laughs> Hip fire last word with the debuff. The best it can do is give you as much damage as you had before it got nerfed. That's so sad. Yeah, that's not gonna get anyone. So like that, I didn't even debuff him, man. What is that? I'm so upset. I didn't want to waste my melee, but okay. Okay, so wrapping it up, it's good. It's very, very situational. The easiest setup that I found to run with it was just Mindbender's Middle Tree Voidwalker and just going for hit markers where you don't kill people with a shotgun shot and then you just follow up with the melee. You can also take this on or take it off depending on what map you're, you're playing. Like I said, Anomaly is really good. Something like Widow's Court would be incredibly bad. Anything that has very limited lanes that funnels people into specific lanes is your best bet. But if you enjoyed the video, the best way of supporting the channel is by dropping a like and if you're already subbed just click on the bell so that you so that you don't miss any of my videos and hopefully i will see you in the next one bye bye